Okay, let's go for today's experiment. It's gonna be diffraction. In this case, we have an opening, right? With this thing, it's right. Uh, the width is W, right? And um, let's see what happens. Imagine that we have a wave front, right? And this wave front meets an opening, right? Like in this case, in the opening, this is the wave front coming. Right, could be ocean weight, or could be sound weight, or could be a laser, like in this case. Okay, let's let's pay attention on the on the last front. This one, what happens when this uh, wave front meets the opening? Well, it changes in shape. Right, it's the same thing as you were pushing right this wave front in this way, or pulling right the wave front in this way too. Okay, great. So what happens then? Well. It changes right in shape like that. And what happens after that? Well, it goes right as a circular path right in the other side. So we call this diffraction. Okay, let's study that diffraction patterns today. Look, when we have an opening like this one, the diffraction pattern is kind of this one. At the center, we have most of the light, right? A big spot, the, the central spot, right? And after that, right, we have that intensity decreases smoothly right away from the center. Perfect. In this case, we take right as a reference the dark spot or the dark fringes, right? So in this case, the center is zero. The first dark fringe is m equals one. Uh, the second one m equals two, right? And so on. Perfect. Now, let's use the question that relates uh, these quantities, the distance right from the slit to the screen, right? the um, width of the opening, right, and the wavelength. This is the question that relates these three quantities. In today's experiment, let's look for the wavelength. It's gonna be a laser. Okay, now, according to this, this M again is this, uh, we call this the order number, and for this case, it's gonna be for destructive interference, right, for the dark fringes. Perfect. Um, when we solve for lambda, the wavelength is gonna be the width times y. Y is the distance from the center to the order numbers, right? Like in this picture. If we are dealing with m equals one, so the distance of uh, y1, right, is this distance, for y2 is this distance, right, and so on. Perfect. Okay, this is the question. And we have two slits, right? One with width 0.16 millimeters and the other one with 0 0.08. Let's see it works. Okay, especially this one because um, we we create a um, more visible pattern. Okay, let's do it. So let's, for case one, let's take two parts, part A and part B, right? For part A, let's take M equals one, right? The first dark fringe. And let's calculate Y, right? From the center to the, uh, that, that uh, dark fringe. Perfect. And then let's find the um, lambda. Right, the, way, uh, the wavelength of the experiment using these quantities. And then let's go to the person error, right? You know the formula, right, for person error. This is the theoretical value for uh, the laser, the wavelength of the laser. Okay, let's see how close they are finding the person error. Okay, perfect. Now let's go for case two, or part B in this, in, for, for this uh, situation. Uh, now let's go to M equals two, right? Okay, now let's take the next, the next dark fringe, right? And let's measure that distance from the center, right, to M2. Great. And then let's go find the uh, experimental value using the same formula and find the personnel. Great. Now let's go for the uh, second width, right? Uh, equals to 0 0.08 millimeters and repeat. But in this case, we have only one let's say one trial, right, one case, or m equals, or m equals one. Okay, m equals one, let's find, right, why uh, the distance, call it y1, to just to match them the, the, the order. And then let's find the experimental value and compare again that to the theoretical value in the personnel. All right, remember how we define the personnel, right? Right, uh, it's equals to lambda, right? Theoretical minus lambda experimental over lambda theoretical right times a hundred percent. Correct. Okay, that's the formula for each case. We have three three person there. Hopefully, we can do it because this one's hard to do it. If you can do it fine, you can do it well. Good. But at least, right? Let's try these two. These two 
right and find the person okay perfect again the distance between the slit and the screen is 2.50 meters right so everything is given the only thing that you need to to measure gonna be why and do the calculations okay let's do it